Dear students, my name is Ahmed Mohammed Gad, lecturer of plastic surgery, Ain Shams Medical School. I'm going to give you a presentation about scope of plastic surgery. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to identify the subspecialties in plastic surgery, what the plastic surgeon can do, patients you should refer to plastic surgery, and how the plastic surgeon can help the other specialties. By definition, plastic surgery denotes sculpting, reshaping, modeling, or molding of a malleable flesh. And this surgical definition first appeared in 1839 and it predates the era of plastic industries. As regards the scope, there is doctor's level and public's level. And of course, general practitioners are better informed than the general population. However, many studies reveal that general practitioners have a limited understanding of the field too. These are an examples of the studies done on general population and also on professional personnel to measure the awareness of the scope of plastic surgery. One of these studies done by Royal Australian College of Surgeons where the persons were asked to nominate their choice of surgeon in three different scenarios, which are breast reduction, skin tumor in the face, and hand trauma. The result was, in breast reduction, only 23% of the personnel referred the patient to plastic surgeon. Skin tumors, 24%, and in hand trauma, only 10% referred the patient to plastic surgeon. And now, what does the plastic surgeon can do? According to, to the textbooks, according to the subspeciality, according to the media, and the overlap with other surgical specialties. As regards the contents of Plastic surgery textbooks. Plastic surgery is divided into two, two main domains reconstruction and aesthetic or cosmetic surgery. Reconstruction represents more than 70% of the textbook contents, while aesthetic represents less than 30%. However, most of plastic surgeons are known as aesthetic surgeons. And this, of course, the effect of the media. And this is an example of the effect of the television show on the public population, which reflects the perception of the scope of plastic surgeon as an aesthetic surgeon only. According to the textbook, plastic surgeon can do as the general principles wound management, especially complex wounds, skin grafts, skin flaps, and different types of flaps too. Also specific principles like in microsurgery and at regard to the head and neck reconstruction like facial trauma, TMJ, orthognathic surgery, regional reconstruction including calvarial, oral cavity, neck, hypopharynx and esophagus. In pediatrics, there is uh, facial clefts, craniosynostosis, craniofacial syndromes, velopharyngeal incompetence. These are two examples of a child with median cleft after correction, and this is a case of cleft palate. And this is the cleft lip. Also, cranial maxillofacial trauma, like facial laceration or facial fractures, facial paralysis, tissue expansion, where we implant a balloon underneath the normal skin to expand it, 
and substitute a deformed or scarred area. Aesthetic head and neck surgery is a very important topic too, including, for example, facial rejuvenation, rhinoplasty, and hair restoration. This example of correction of deformed nose, rhinoplasty, and hair restoration by hair transplantation. It's a case of a facelift. Non-invasive rejuvenation also is upcoming nowadays more and more. Includes fillers, botox, chemical peeling, laser, and thread lift. Head and neck tumors also, like vascular malformation, skin tumors, salivary gland tumors, oral cavity, hypophonics, and craniomaxillofacial skeleton tumors. And this is a case of hemangioma in a child, and this is a case of mandibular tumor in an adult person. The case of basal cell carcinoma in the forehead after excision and reconstruction by rotational flap. When we go to the trunk, is also divided into reconstruction and aesthetic. Reconstruction like abdominal wall defects, chest wall defects, pressure sores, genitalia and back defects. As regards the aesthetics, abdominoplasty, liposuction, and post-bariatric surgeries. This is an example of post-bariatric redundancy of the skin, of the abdomen, and thigh, and buttocks, and this is after body lifting. And this is an example of a hypospadias in a male child. Also back defects. This is an example of a meningomyelocele defect after excision by neurosurgeon and where we did a local flap transposition flap. Also this is a case of bedridden patient with huge sacral pressure sore underwent excision of the PERSA and reconstruction by BY advancement flaps. Liposuction is one of the commonest procedures done in plastic surgery. Here is a liposuction from the abdomen and sides, and this is an example of liposuction from the arms. Rest also divided into aesthetic and reconstructive procedures. Aesthetic procedure like Breast reduction or breast lifting and breast augmentation by a silicon implant and breast reconstruction after tumor excision and mastectomies, where we build up a new breast and new navel and areola too. Burn is a very important subject in plastic surgery and it includes acute burn patient and the management of post burn sequelae and the patient of acute burn needs to be admitted in a specialized unit in order to take a proper care hand and upper limb divided into congenital hand anomalies soft tissue reconstruction fractures, microvascular surgeries, nerve injuries, and trachea plexus injuries. And this is an example of child porn with syndactyly of the third web space. And this is after division. A case of some defect reconstructed by regional flap. A case of tendon sheath swelling. And salvage after explosive injury, thumb salvage after a gunshot injury, the result after completing the reconstruction, restoration of circulation of amputated thumb by microvascular surgery, laser also play an important role in plastic surgery 
in the case of rhinophema of the nose, corrected by laser, port wine stain, lower limb reconstruction done by plastic surgeon in cooperation with orthopedic surgeon, vascular surgeon, and general surgeon. Lymphedema is very challenging subject in plastic surgery. So to summarize, the subspecialties of plastic surgery are hand surgery, microvascular surgery, craniomaxillofacial surgery, hern, aesthetic surgery, general reconstructive surgery, and laser in plastic surgery. And there is an overlap between plastic surgery speciality and we it's better to call a cooperation with orthopedics, unity, ophthalmology, neurosurgery, dental surgery, urology, general surgery, pediatric surgery, and dermatologist. Please be ready with your question in any face-to-face -face session. Thank you for your attention.